Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You can hear me thanks to the patron Saint Halucha. This is Local Chat, episode 83. It's August, or Augie Doggy Doo, as they say in the South. It's joining me, as always, it's Gibson Ian. Hello, this is not the first time we've started this show, but we will not be redoing all of the bits we've already done. Nope, my vagina's name is the Sarlacc Pit. Kyle, how you doing? Well, I already announced everything, so we're not redoing it. Uh, I'm doing all right, <laughs> I guess, you know? I'm just, I'm doing okay. I I'm glad nice. you're doing it. He did promise, I will say, that he's going to tell us the name of his cat at the end of this episode. So yeah. I'm just bringing that back around. Well, yeah. he said that the first time we started, so we've technically already been to the oh. end of that episode. Oh, damn yeah. it. So, yeah. Uh, did you catch it? Because I completely missed it. <laughs> Yeah, it was Sarlacc. Um, it was Sarlacc. It was the no, trench run. The trench run. It was the trench run. The trench run. <laughs> uh, folks, we're here to talk about video games. We're here to talk about all sorts of delicious things that we love. You know, I'm thinking about it. I would have noticed eventually. I would have noticed eventually. How long? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. It's taking you about five minutes I don't to realize that your microphone was not being picked up, Will. I, I would have noticed eventually. Although yes, I did realize... I this isn't entirely my fault. It was the state of my brain on Tuesday night, but I did record. Oh, because of COVID? <laughs> uh, no, not because of COVID. Uh, look, I did... look, you are not a game studio, Will. You can't blame everything on COVID for three no, years. No, I blame okay? that one on the laws of New Jersey. Um, what? Uh, <coughs> oh, okay. uh, Tuesday, I recorded about 50 minutes of my side of the stream. <laughs> So if you ever, if anyone wants that, there's just 50 minutes of my camera and some video games I played. Um, speaking of video games we played, it's time to talk about what we've played this week. And I'm going to go first because I'm the least interesting and we'll just rip it off like a bandaid. Um, Rimworld. <laughs> I wish. Uh, Ocarina of Time, I finished. Uh, great game. Fantastic oh, yeah. video game. Um I forgot the entire second half of that game, second th three quarters of that game. Um, so I started up Majora's Mask. My, I love Majora's Mask. I've played it before. Um, I, <coughs> I'm glad to be playing it again. My only problem with it is I feel like Majora's Mask I have to pay attention to while watching TV versus Ocarina of Time was a nice, like, muscle mm -hmm. memory slash there's not a real grind that I... Like, Majora's Mask is all about waiting for the right moment to do things. And like, I don't know if I can be that focused while playing or while watching TV and stuff. Um, I'm still playing it, but it's 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 been less of my play while watching TV game. That has uh, been taken over by RuneScape, old school RuneScape. I have been playing a bunch of on the PC and on my phone. It's a great mm -hmm. phone game. It runs well. It doesn't scream at you if you exit it. Um, <laughs> It's all around great. What does it mean? What does it do when? What does it do when you exit? When you exit it, it just says, "Excuse me, William." You, you, no, I, I just, I mean, most of those apps, like Diablo Immortal and all those apps, they have the. I don't know if they have. <coughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know if they have this on Google phones, but it doesn't just let you swipe out of the app the first time. It like you swipe up to swipe up the swipe away bar, and then you swipe again to exit the app completely. Um, it's so like Diablo Immortal. If you exit the app by swiping it closed, it will shut the app down. Versus, if you wanted to exit it, you could go and log out. I don't know. It's shitty. RuneScape doesn't do that. It acts like every other game where it doesn't matter if you just flip it closed. Um, does any of that make sense? You're looking like you're an idiot. Not really, but it's not worth getting into. Well, have you Completely ever played a mobile registered. game where you have to exit the mobile game rather than s using the phone to exit the mobile game? You, you, know, you can't you just, know what I mean? You, you can't swipe. You can't just pull up the app switcher and then switch to a different app? No, you can, but there's a lot of mobile games nowadays that yell at you for doing that. Like, it'll, like, completely on, close out on, of the game. Wait, you're on iPhone? Yeah. Maybe I just don't, don't play mobile games, but I don't. I've never. I feel like the that. more intensive mobile games that exist. Oh, won't let oh you just I mean, like I mean, it just game. for Android at least, it it just suspends it. It just it just like puts it in a minor suspend state. 
okay maybe i'm crazy um anyways uh runescape doesn't do that runescape <laughs> plays by the rules uh so i've been doing that uh, and then finally uh, i started fallout new vegas because apparently i beat it before but i don't remember any of it i'm playing on the xbox backwards compatible 360 version uh and it is very fun i'm like four or five hours in just uh cruising uh majora's mask you playing that on 3ds switch oh i have never played majora's mask i played ocarina of time for the first and only time on the 3ds so i've been thinking about going back and doing majora's mask on the 3ds it's good. Uh, the 3DS one's the only one I've beaten. Uh, I'm playing the N64 ones because apparently there's like issues with the 3DS versions that people don't like. And I wanted to play through it this time on the N64 to see if I actually noticed anything was different. Mm -hmm. um, I think the pros of the 3DS outweigh any cons that like a precious person might come up with. I haven't read through them all. So they're, I mean, I could be speaking out my ass, which I am, but there could be something that is like horribly wrong but as far as i remember they're just like adjusting puzzles to make them more clear for you rather they're not like mm -hmm. and adding uh the bomber's notebook i believe in majora's mask where you can actually track your quests so you remember to do okay. things instead of having to write them down in a notebook like i do um that's nice yeah so it, it, it's fun I, I love majora's mask uh i might stream it some this weekend uh just to like knock that out for a bit it's a fun game it, I honestly, back to back with Ocarina of Time, surprised how much better it looks two years later, being most mm. of the same uh, assets and stuff. It's like, it's just like a tiny bit clearer and mm -hmm. everything's like cleaned up and a little more polished. Um, it's really, it's really interesting to, to see. Um, <laughs> so that's what I've been playing this week. Uh, Ian Gibson, talk about what Hi. you've been playing this week. Uh, still playing some Pokemon White. I haven't finished it yet. I have a problem. Uh -oh. I feel like you guys may be able to relate to this, where you really enjoy a game, you play it a lot, you don't beat the game, you want to beat the game, but you're also tired of playing the game. So I am 27 hours into Pokemon White. I probably have another three or four hours left, unless I have to grind, based on how these final fights go. And I do want to finish it, but I'm struggling to play it because I've just played a lot of that game recently. You guys ever have that where you get like 70, 80, 90% of the way through and you go, I love this game. I want to finish it, but I'm tired of playing it. I, uh, I don't know if you know this. I have not beaten Elden Ring because of that. Well, that's, but yeah, yeah. That game has a problem. Yeah. I was, which is I'm at the final well. boss and I didn't feel like playing it that weekend. And now it's been so long that I'm afraid I can't go back and beat the final boss. <laughs> so I just haven't beat it. And if yet. you do, you have to make up for it with grinding, which right. means you have to play more. So now I have to play it. twice as much. So you yeah. don't have to. You don't have to beat that game. You've beaten the game. I beat the game. I beat Elden Ring. <laughs> Shut up. No, you did not. <laughs> I got. I got almost to the academy. I beat the game. It's. I know what that <laughs> game is. I played a lot of it. That's. Funny. It's, <laughs> Jesus. 35 hours into that game you're not going to show me any more shit basically like i'm good no there's some crazy I know, stuff i know what that game is there's a first person section uh oh, yeah. <laughs> like do uh kyle i feel like you don't have this problem because as we've talked before you have the incredible skill of just <laughs> playing any video game forever i was gonna i was gonna say i was like i mean i have this problem with games i don't like <laughs> where i'm like I have mm -hmm. to finish it, and I've just played so much of it. I mean, that was definitely Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, I would be interested in going back to, like, the original Assassin's Creed, maybe maybe Assassin's Creed 2, because that's a, a lot more refined than the first one is, and playing through that, because obviously it's not nearly as bloated as some of the yeah. some of yeah. the more modern iterations of it are, but it's still very long. Like, I, I do remember that game probably being... Maybe like 40 50 hours and i logged 127 in assassin's creed odyssey so um but yeah i don't i don't know if i have that problem i if i'm not into a game i won't play it enough to to merit like beating it or like attempting to beat it like i'm just like mm -hmm. i'll drop it but yeah. um i don't know yeah i, 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 get I, can, I can understand i can understand yeah. your your issue though it makes like, sense especially with elden ring i think it is it was less of me getting sick of it and it was more of me like, ooh, I want to play this new thing and I'll get back to Elden Ring. And then just that time got away from me and it's been 
50 years yeah um, i think i think for for me with elden ring it was sort of the novelty of playing a from software game for the first time in earnest like playing it through all the way being like okay i'm gonna beat this because i want to beat it and then 20 30 percent of the way into it i was like oh i'm actually enjoying this uh so finding that out when you're playing a game is awesome but it doesn't hit for everyone and certainly not certainly not for elden ring for some people but it did for me yeah yeah so so i am gonna try and finish it I kind of feel like I have to for for Pokewell season two prep, but it just <laughs> kind do. of sucks when I hit that. It just sucks when I hit that point where I'm like, I really like this game. I would love to play more of it, but I'm also tired of it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, yeah, the other game I've been playing, I you know, part of that is also there's another game that's kind of grabbed my interest this past week and has kind of become my go to game and has taken up a lot of the Pokemon white time. I, I'm playing War Thunder again. I'm playing fucking War Thunder again. Do you guys know about War Thunder? I've heard of it. It's like it's World basically, of Tanks, right? Yeah, it's basically you have World of Tanks. And then I think War Thunder came a little bit after that, but it's also from a World of Tanks is from a Russian company. War Thunder, I believe, is from a Chinese company. Um, it's basically like it's kind of like Counter-Strike with tanks. Originally Counter-Strike with tanks. So the idea is you go in. You have one life or in most of these matches, you have like three or four of your tanks that you bring in with you and you get one life with each tank and you're and sometimes the objectives are take out the enemy team. Sometimes it's capture an area. Sometimes it's like kill this NPC fodder around. Um, And I played it before when it was just tanks and it's pretty fun. It's it's uh, it's not like a super realistic, but it's a very good like arcade realism tank game because it does have some restrictions you're a little slow and lumbering every time you shoot an enemy there's like a little kill cam on the top right where it does like an x-ray view of the tank so it's like oh you hit the side and this is how it went through and it tells you you know like ricochet or it's like you know killed (laughs) killed the gunner and it's really cool and it feels nice um they eventually added ships just the same as world of warships did so there's like naval combat now And then they also added planes. Uh, So the problem is I've been on TikTok and it just keeps feeding me War Thunder videos (laughs) of people flying planes. And I'm like, God damn it. Okay. And you know what? It's not bad. It's pretty good to just hop in. It has the best mouse and keyboard flying controls I've ever used. Like by default, it's mouse aim. So you use the mouse to like aim where your plane is going and the planes in third person, but it has like really good detection of like, you don't have to worry about rolling the plane or rudder or yaw or any or pitch or anything like that. Like it, it knows kind of what you're trying to do based on your mouse. Mm. And, and, and by default, it's in like this mouse aim arcadey mode. So it really accommodates for that. If you want to, you can go into a more realistic mode. I've also gotten into, I realize you can, you can pitch up and down and roll a lot faster if you do it with the wasid. So mm-hmm. if I know I'm if I know I'm trying to do a loop, I'll I'll like look up with the mouse and hold down S and it'll do a much quicker loop than if I just use the mouse, but it still makes it like easy. Like I don't have my joystick out. I don't feel like I need to have my joystick out. And it, and it's just like you spawn in, you fly like 30 seconds, all of a sudden you're surrounded by like 10 enemy planes and 10 friendly planes. You're just having all these dog fights. And it's great. It's very relaxing for me. It's a great podcast game. I've started like if I have like 45 minutes before work in the morning, I'm just like, all right, let me get a match or two in. You know, it's fun. Don't play this fucking game, though. All right. (laughs) Don't don't play this fucking game. Don't play World of Tanks. I'm gonna tell you why. This game is like free to play, pay to win bullshit through and throughout. There's like 12 currencies everything there's like 60 planes in the game no i'm sorry there's like six countries with planes i'm playing as britain just because that's the furthest i progressed before i picked up the game again and they have about 60 planes i've been playing it for like i want to say like seven or eight hours this past week and i've unlocked three planes like this game is just like grind 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 no fuck you it's bad because the planes are just like barely incremental and the only reason i've unlocked three planes was because i i paid eight bucks for 20 days worth of premium access which like triples your experience gain well that's so even with that so even with that you're barely making anything 
So the problem is like there's all these currencies. There's all these like timers and like research points. So like at the end of every match, they're just like, oh, look at all these points you got. Here's how much you could have gotten if you had premium. And then you go to spend the points and you're like, I got two research points and I need 100 to unlock 5% better machine guns on this specific airplane. <laughs> and it's just like, it's just a fucking grind, <laughs> um, which sucks because you end up in a match. And you're like, hey, I'm doing really good. And you're like getting in dog fights and you're getting hits off. And all of a sudden some fucko out of nowhere just like domes your pilot in two shots and it shows you their plane and it's just like a fucking gold like premium plane where they pay 20 bucks for the plane uh, i have all the mods cruise kills you just over and over might as well be because it's some (laughs) sicko he's either been playing the game for ten thousand hours to max it out or has spent 50 bucks you know to, to buy their favorite plane and max it out so it's it's frustrating it is horribly pay to win which is a shame because unlike world of tanks like the core gameplay is really good like i've been fucking around bombers where i like i like try and stay above everybody get some height and then i like switch to the bomber view and I drop some bombs and I'm like, fuck yeah, destroyed the base. Like it feels really good. The dog fighting feels good. There's so much variety in the planes. Cause even two planes in the same rank in the same country feel different. And it's actually like semi realistic where I keep getting into rate fights, uh, which if my understanding of rate fights is basically oh, you're, you're oh, okay. <laughs> Me and like, both like, what are you talking about <laughs> you're doing the turns and you're like trying to turn faster than them but at the same time you can't lose too much speed because then you've got to bail out of the turn mm. and so we're just like like i'm starting to learn these like bonkers maneuvers so i can like get on people because my shooting's not great but it's it's the gameplay is great it's just it's horribly pay to win so that's that's my like my real guilty pleasure this past yeah. week is worth under and yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep playing it because until it pisses me off too much you should um you should cut that whole rant into one of your uh is it any good you should go fuck off how about that <laughs> jeez the problem Dude, is i've played mad. like i probably worth under i've probably put 25 hours into over the years and i've probably put at least 60 hours into world of warships which is the same thing but world of tanks the naval side which is much better than war thunder's naval side it's it's like those games are identical in how much the pay to win is set up and how frustrating it is but again core gameplay is very fun best naval combat game i've ever played world of warships you heard it here folks get out there world of warships hit up ian gibson to play with you uh i'm glad you've (laughs) been playing video games kyle hasn't been playing anything because he's been too busy building things right kyle it's true um if you were listening to us before will could talk into the microphone uh, then you would have known that i built a computer uh it's like my fifth build for not not for me i've i've only ever had my one computer where the case is right there you can't see it because it's really dark but it's massive it's a corsair 750d that thing is like a chonker it's like huge i got that probably five years ago um and the insides were not that good the only thing good about that computer was the gpu that i got it was a 2070 super i got it two months before the prices of everything shot up and right. I, it was like it was like the best decision and uh, purchase uh, date I ever managed to combine together. So um, it was really good uh, for like 1440p gaming on like low to medium settings, mainly because my processor was a uh, Core i7 4790K, which is a solid processor, but it only has mm-hmm. four processors or four, four uh, cores. Four, four, four. Uh, so. Um, it's kind of getting up there in age. I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to figure out, I think it came out in 2014. So it's quite old uh, by, by hardware standards, still solid. I mean, you could use it for like a server if you wanted, or um, I don't know, like a, a, I don't know. You could use it for something. Yeah. A back scratcher. That'd be really good. Those little pins. Yeah. Have somebody step on that. That'd be good. Stuck in your Mm -hmm. skin. (laughs) Um, So I upgraded, uh, I got a new case, much smaller from NZXT. It's like a, h510 flow or something it's got a bunch of mesh uh i pulled the gpu from my old computer and the the psu which was a corsair 850 uh so it's solid it's great and then i upgraded everything else upgraded the motherboard upgraded the processor to a 12 600k which is you know perfect 
there's going to be uh, another computer I'd like to build. I want to try building a small form factor ITX case. So like something sort of very uh, desk mountable that can just sit there and then I can have like a streaming computer and a game computer. But uh, for right now, this is this is looking good. It's got uh, it will have 64 gigs of DDR4 3600 memory. Damn on like the 10th of August because I ordered two and for some reason the one shipped earlier than the other did. I don't know why they didn't <laughs> ship them at the same time. So I have 32 gigs of memory right now, but yeah, it's good. Uh, I upgraded to an M.2, uh, one terabyte. So like Ooh, my speeds are blazing. Yeah, it's yeah. it's nice. They're not that expensive. You can get a one terabyte M.2 stick for a hundred bucks or like $98 Ooh, or that's something. Not bad. It's really good. If you're, yeah. if you're, um, Motherboard supports it. I definitely recommend it. And it's easy to like transfer. Uh, I think Samsung has their own like proprietary sort of cloning tool that you can use. But um, it's cool. I like it. It was a good decision. I like building computers. I just don't get to do it that often. So yeah. I was thinking maybe I could stream it. And then I realized I was galvanizing my other comp my streaming computer. <laughs> so there'd be no way of me doing it. But yeah. So if uh, maybe in the future we could do something like that. But I don't know. I like it. It's fun. My fingers hurt. Because, like, there's so many just tiny little sharp things. And I do have to say, the one thing that always scares me whenever I build a PC is um, the front uh, header for the cases tends to yeah. have, like, the little tiny, like, little one to yeah. two pin things that you have to finagle. NZXT provided a single front panel uh, input that you just plug it right in. And I was like, yeah. thank God, because Corsair did not do that like six years ago or five years ago. But uh, if you can get a case with that, you're set. It's not going to take you that long. Yeah, I've noticed, I I don't think it's a standard yet, but it feels like case manufacturers and motherboard companies have started to kind of have a soft agreement of like, hey, as long as you make your header the same pinout every time, then yeah. we can provide a single connector. <laughs> you know, so yeah. they try to do that now. I think this case I switched over to uh, I still had to do the tiny stupid thing. The thing I always forget when I build a PC is to plug the CPU power in. I like every yeah the yeah. Oh, that actually I did. I always forget. That's that. that screwed me up this time because I I um got a cable set from Cable Mod like four years ago just so that I had white cables because I like the black and white. This case is mostly white, and when I pulled the same cables that I had used for the other one, I didn't realize that I only needed one uh, six pin cable or eight, eight pin cable for my old motherboard and the new one required two. And I was like, do I still have that cable set from cable mod? And I like went through my closet and I finally found it, but it was, nice. um, it I, that just spoke to like the increase in power that, <laughs> that the new computer requires. And I don't know, but yeah, keep your cables guys. Keep your yeah. cables folks. Well, that's awesome. I'm I'm glad you got a new PC because this this feels like it feels like all prices across the board have finally come down back to normal. Like just the other day, I was I was on Amazon searching for something else, and they were just like, "Hey, you want a 3080? It's in stock for MSRP right now." And I was yeah. like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> like like it's finally come down. Like they knew I was looking for one because I looked for one for literally a year, <laughs> and so I finally overpaid, but in a way that I underpaid because I had gift cards and stuff. And just seeing that in stock for MSRP is insane. So seeing that, same with like like you said, I bought an SSD recently for an old PC, and it was about a hundred twenty gigabyte SATA SSD for sixteen dollars. And yeah, just it's, it's just ridiculous. Seeing everything come back down to normal makes me think maybe it's time to upgrade my CPU and motherboard. Yeah, but, it's it's yeah, a yeah. good honestly, it's a good time. I know Intel's coming out with their new processors in a couple months, and then Nvidia is coming out with the forty series. Um, which, according to Linus Tech Tips, um, they may have a huge surplus of 30 and 40 series yeah. cards because of the fact that they placed their order during the height of crypto. So there might be a lot of cards that they're trying to get rid of and not a lot of people like miners who are trying to gather them up as fast as they can. So uh, if I mean, I, I would probably wait, even though those 40 series cards are going to be insanely power hungry like oh, they're yeah. going to be ridiculous because the 30 series yeah, is yeah. already sort of pushing it um but yeah just uh just know right now pretty good time to to build a pc or upgrade. yeah I, think I, I may wait for the new intel because because the only thing that is behind in my computer 
and not even that far behind is the CPU. Because I've got a yeah. 3080, I've got 48 gigs of RAM, I've got like a two terabyte M2 and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's just the CPU that's a little behind. So it's one of those things yeah. where I don't have to, but at the same time, I'm like, prices are Why normal. Not? Yeah. Maybe I should. You know? Yeah, I, I think for my for the, the ITX case that I want to build, I definitely want it to be, if I can manage it power-wise, I'd like it to be, uh, what is Intel's new uh, n uh nomenclature for their it's this one is not cabby lake oh I don't alder know. lake like this alder this current lake, one yeah. is alder lake and then the next one is something else um whatever series that ends up being i want the itx case to have that and then if i can manage it one of like the mid-tier 40 series cards i think that would be perfect yeah for, and i i don't do 4k i only do 1440p so i don't yeah, need so like fine. i don't need like the max of anything i'm i'm fine on the middle of the road yeah i um i have two 2070s i only have one installed but i have two of them i thought about putting together but i think i need to upgrade that i <coughs> i bought this case i forget when uh it's the be it wasn't quiet that long case. ago um, what is it oh be quiet, be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my only problem is i touched it the other day and the entire case is extremely hot um and i like weird. kept the side off for a bit i have that cpu id and I was checking that it like tells you the temps of everything and everything was pretty normal. Like when I Googled, like how hot should the CPU get? The people who were complaining were like, it was getting to like 85 to a hundred Celsius and mine's only at like 78, but it mm. feels a little too warm in there. And I remember my old big HAF case. Um, what it wasn't Cooler even master. loud, yeah. but it was just, it was like a, air, the air that came out of it was cold or like at least lukewarm. <laughs> So I think I might switch back to another case only because it was kind of alarmingly hot. And I was like, I don't know. If... And I've been having PC issues and I wonder if I can attribute that to overheating. Um, yeah, I, it I keep getting like, I don't know if this happens to anyone else. It's driving me insane, but I keep having Chrome video issues where it refuses to load videos until I completely exit Chrome and reopen it. And I was it sounds like, more like a memory issue, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if maybe my memory's not... I don't know, I should reseed everything. Anyways, building computers are fun and not at all stressful. Uh, my issue with building computers is I always get very sweaty, so I can't lean over the PC because I will drip <laughs> into it. It's disgusting. Um, and I get sweaty because I'm nervous, and then that just makes me nor more nervous, so I get more sweaty. <laughs> and I just I get it in the winter. Don't I don't get nervous, no, I just get hot. really annoyed. I'm uh, yeah, that's yeah. It's not like nervous. It's like annoyed frustration at, yeah. and you're not you're not mad, but it's just like you need to focus. That always happens. Oh, me. you know what? You know what is the most frustrating part of PC building nowadays <laughs> cable is management. that all the cases have very good cable management slots, oh, yeah. but all the cables are like the exact length. So you end up like taking a SATA cable or like a PSU cable and you're just like stretching it and like trying to perfectly get it in there. But you're like, I don't want you to break, but I have to stretch you to get you clipped in. And it's so annoying because you're like, I'm not going to do a spaghetti mess through the front even though I really want to, but you're making it very hard for me to run this cable all the way through this to get there. And it's, yeah, that's the frustrating part. It, that, that exact problem happened when I just built this one and NZXT has a, a cable run and it's like pretty thick and it's got Velcro straps, but like only like 30% of the cables will even fit through that. And then by the time yeah. you do that, it's like they're, they're either just long enough that you can fit and it's a stretch or they're too short. Yeah. And it's like, I, I like the fact that you're doing that. I wish that there's a I wish that there was a better way other than having those little sort of cable tie uh off, those tie off points where it's yeah. like you just put it around and then zip it. Having those are nice, but I wouldn't want the back of a computer to be like completely covered in that. Like there's yeah. I wonder if there's a way to be to have it be like almost modular. Um where like you could move yeah. those things around and I don't know. I think that could be interesting. But I could see that. Yeah, I had to I, the last time I got a hard drive, the SATA cable was too short, so I ended up screwing it into the um, disk drive, the extra disk drive slot, like oh. one of the <laughs> screws lined up, and I was like, ah, I'll just put you here. I'm not moving you around. Um, yeah. I think my And it's SSD, not a platter drive, so um, it's like, who cares? I think my SSD is just hanging somewhere in there, because I had it. Which is fine, honestly. It's like, why it's would I buy SATA. new SATA cables when I have a bunch? They're just extremely short. 
Yeah. Um, it works out. Anyways, uh, well, that's enough about building computers. No more talking about that because, folks, it's time for the news, and we're going to play the greatest song you've ever heard in your fucking life. I swear to God, Will, this folks, better be the long version. I, it's not the, it's not my version, but it's it's, okay, the, good. it's the second place. I, I um, just... Listen, Halucha likes it too, so this one goes out. No, I'm going to be upset. I like it. it. We have to play it. I'm upset that you keep trying to play the short one. I just I like the cadence and the oh. and the the lyrics of the first version. I would rather which are uh, also in the second no, version. No, it's only in the first beginning. I would rather play the first and second version combined than just the second version. D are you not aware Here's the second the news, version starts with the first news, version? We're talking about news. What's up, news? But now there's more to the song So you can sing along And it won't bore you though Unlike Factorio Kingdom Hearts was played by Ian And he really loved Pirates of the Caribbean But we don't want to have a vocal spat So let's bring it back to your local chat Perfect 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 Folks, that's going to be the show. Uh, it's time for the news. Uh, we have this new system here where Ian is a piece of absolute treasure and organizes everything. Um, <coughs> sorry, I cough when I lie. Uh, this top story tonight, folks. Top story tonight. Canceled again, Blizzard is. Not for what they did but for who they're doing blizzard and netease canceled a mobile warcraft mmorpg project this just in from i believe the activision uh was this jason schreier pulling it out or was did they say something yeah, about jason, it during the uh it's jason schreier and the Seping kwong uh kopi line a i'm scanning it Scanning, I, scanning. I wasn't sure if some of this came out of the because uh, they had their call the other day. I wasn't sure if any of the information came. Out I don't. I don't think it was in the call. Um, but basically they were working on a uh, World of Warcraft mobile. Oh my fucking neighbors! Sounds like a jackal downstairs. Sorry. Um, they were working on a mobile uh, World of Warcraft MMORPG, which honestly sounds pretty sweet. I would play a mobile version of that. Um. They have torpedoed it, uh, mostly because. Sorry, I was reading while talking. Um, did it say why? There was a reason. Can I just say, look, I'm gonna throw some shade at Jason Schreier real quick. He keeps getting these scoops, but then when you go in to read it, there's maybe like one or two factual tidbits in here, and then the rest of it is just like conjecture and context. It feels like he gets one one piece of information. It's like the movie Doubt, right? Or no, Spotlight. It's like the movie Spotlight. Okay. They're like, we're not going to run it yet. We need more information. We need to knock this out of the park, right? And it feels like Jason Trier is the opposite of that, where he goes, "Oh, I have a rumor. Oh, I can write a four. I can write five or five paragraphs on that." And there's like one rumor in there, and then the rest of it is just like Netties is a Chinese company that's been investing a lot in video games. Activision has lied a lot of bad stuff in the news, and it's just like I need more to these articles. I need more meat in here. Do you like, think that's like, because it's for meat. it's for Bloomberg and not like Kotaku? Like they're not pandering to just a gaming audience. I mean, I have no love for Jason Schreier. I the think same he's thing. I think he's okay, but like I don't know. He I, I think he did the same thing with Kotaku too, where it felt like he gets a little piece of tidbit and he goes, I gotta go to press with this. You know, this is news. And it's like it is news, but give me more here. Like, like we're struggling to read this and pull information out of it because there's really not much here, you know? So uh, just 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 my little bit of uh uh, uh sass a little bit of sass uh on this thursday night um i love that they're like we continue to have an extremely successful relationship um <laughs> like getting out there we, we're great friends we're best friends still uh um, great friends <laughs> we're great friends i just i i just like seeing what they did to Diablo where they put it on mobile and it's like, yeah, sure. You put it on mobile, but it's just, it's just a Diablo game. Like they didn't do enough to make that a mobile game. Yeah. So seeing this, this would have just been wow on mobile pretty much. Like it's not what I want. Like, like I played a lot of, um, Melvor idol speaking about runescape. 
Malvor Idol is RuneScape turned into an incremental game, an incremental idol game, and it's great on mobile because because that's it it knows what a mobile game needs to be, right? And I'm not sure I would have trusted Blizzard to take to basically take WoW and make it into a mobile game. I'm not sure I would have trusted them to do that. So Although, I think this is good news. Did no, it's Tencent that made Genshin Impact, right? I believe so. I, I, that's a pretty good like mobile version of a of that type of game. I know a lot of people like that. Didn't Netties have I a mean, response? Or am I thinking that up? I, you know, honestly, uh, I don't think it's... I, I didn't play Genshin Impact on mobile. I played it on the PC. And I don't think it's a good mobile game. It's like PUBG Mobile. All they did was they took like a full-fledged game and they put it on mobile and they added like touch analog controls. And that's not good enough. You know, that's that's just not good enough. You got it's completely different format, completely different, like play mentality. Like when I play a mobile game, it's because I'm getting in like a three or four minute match while I'm crapping, you know, not because I'm trying to do full dual yeah, joystick touch controls. So there's also it, it was successful who, who fully play games on their phone. Yes, but their pieces of shit is what I'm telling you. <laughs> Sure. I'm being sassy tonight, but literally like, like, hey, on the one hand, cool, you put like a full blown quote unquote video game on a mobile. But on the other hand, I'm not going to play that for more than two minutes because I don't want to sit there on my phone doing this with touch controls. Like, give me something that's actually Wordle. Perfect example of a phone game. Boom. It's it's what, five, six minutes it's every single day. Everybody's sharing the same word. So it encourages the social aspect and they have a very quick way for you to post your stats to social media. It, perfect, perfect mobile game. That's what you need to be doing. You need to be thinking about the platform, how people are playing it, and how they can share that experience with others in a unique way to the mobile platform. Not just put a game like PUBG on the phone and say, look, it's got touch controls. Done. That's not good enough. Okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. I'm sassy. <laughs> get you to bed. Um, I am tired. <laughs> did either of you watch the uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet Violet uh, Pokemon Presents thing? I I, I didn't. I'm going to play this game, but I, I normally never do this, but I feel like I don't want to watch anything more because I just kind of want to be surprised by it. Is that weird? No, it's Pokemon. No. I mean, we kind of know what's in it, but at it. the same time, I we have raid battles now. So, yeah. Crystal what is Pokemon? what is raid battles? Terror so, raid battle. Oh, you you go, Will. Why? Well, so they apparently they had I didn't play Sword and Shield, uh, but they had raid battles in that. Um, oh, but in okay. this one you uh actually have your four friends in the game with you and you're all taking your own turns fighting you're not waiting and and you all get a chance to catch the pokemon um so they're like bigger battles against oh, tougher pokemon cool. and uh i literally in the work slack was like i swear if they say the host gets the, like if all the stuff is for the host only like yeah. if that that could still happen and if it does i'll be so pissed off because i hate when video games do that but um so they have that they have um for you can do everything four player co-op if you want to i mean up to four player co-op there are three main stories in the game it is completely open world you can do the gyms in any order wait did um, you see there's th there's three three main stories that's what, does that what mean? i so I'm saying that, and I don't know what that means, but people kept saying that. Um, yeah. And I I am searching for where it says that, but there are like three. Because I'm just thinking, like I'm trying to contextualize that, like Pokemon White and Pokemon Black and White 2, Black 2 have a, have like a <laughs> lot of post Pokemon League content. So you could say that's like two main stories in a way, like up to the Pokemon League and then a bunch of story content post. But three main is like, is this going to have choices? Like which starter you choose takes you on a different path. Cause I just talked about how I got tired of a Pokemon game 27 hours in. I don't want to have to play it three times. No, you have to play it three times. God, That's the it. point. Um, sorry, I'm I was just trying to find it where it was I did see the that. Pokemon motorcycles, which is Yeah, weird, one of them but uses their legs. Sure. Uh sure. They don't use the giant wheels. I still think the game looks awful. I think it looks absolutely dreadful. I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. And really? here's why. We talked about this with oh. we talked about this with 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 Arceus. And it's because Arceus has a graphical problem, but it also has a design problem. Those worlds are ugly and empty. I think uh Scarlet and Violet have a graphical problem, 
It's still not a great engine, but it at least has a really nice art style and world design that is cool to look at. So I'm not saying it's amazing, but it's it's a huge step up from Arceus. Yeah. Um, I don't agree, but you can think that. As someone who watched the trailer, I do not think it looks huh. good. Oh. Huh. Just saying. Huh. Just saying. Want to step outside? Uh, yeah, Grandpa. <laughs> we'll step outside. Um, I, I yeah. So I'm I'm on the fence of whether or not I'll play it. Um, I'm not gonna decide now. Um, only because I have to be on the other side of Pokemon White to then decide. Um, well, you'll play it. You'll play it after one of us puts it on the game of the year list. I would. <laughs> Ugh. There's don't a play good the chance core. of it. This this year's been light. This year's been very. You realize we have to pick. We have to pick and rank the top ten games of the year. Yeah. And I think there's only like five on the list so far. Elden Ring, number one. We're done. Absolutely done. Okay, nobody saves the world. Mm. There's not Anyways. a better video game than Elden Ring. I don't I even. Don't <laughs> even. Don't. We can't start now. Uh, Logitech. Speaking of Tencent. Logitech and Tencent working together to create cloud gaming handheld. Folks, if you wanted to do things on your phone, but you wanted to have your phone and then do other things on a phone like object that pretty much do the same things your phone already does, then have we <laughs> got the device for yeah. you? Part of me is like, I understand why you're doing this, but a bigger part of me is like, just make a phone. Like, unless this thing is a hundred dollars and includes a backbone, well, I guess it would have built in controls. Then it's like maybe, but like you can get like a Moto G for like 250, 300 bucks, and it's a great little Android phone and it will Isn't... run all of this cloud stuff fine. The Nvidia Shield's like that too, right? Mm, no, I believe the Shield is. Oh, I guess you know what? Cloud. Sorry. No. It's not because it doesn't have it. It has Wi-Fi support. So, so the confusion is. I think there's two versions of the Shield. Originally, it was oh. a handheld, and then they switched to the TV only version. Um, that, I'm thinking but literally, handheld. yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is literally just. It's it's a phone. Because if this doesn't ship with the cell plan or SIM card capability, then what's the point? And at that point, it's like, well, you might as well just make it a phone. Right. That, that's like, like I get having a secondary device to do things on, but at like, I guess it all comes down to the price point, but still it's like, what? Like, why is it not a, just do a phone? Yeah. It's also a, made by the, phone. the most like middling company for like tech stuff. Like the Logitech makes good, like mice. I don't, well, I don't no, know. No, but, like, but, but they say Logitech on this, but remember, I'm pretty sure logitech logitech owns elgato now i believe i believe they also own corsair don't they so they have expanded their brand recently to mm. pick up a lot of stuff I'll, I'll double check that stuff but they are getting better they're still not great but but i think yeah. at the end of the day i'm just like why would you ever get this device versus a just a fucking phone you know i'm trying to think like is it. there a big section of the chinese market that can't have phones but could have a device that streams games. That's a good good point. Yeah, I'm just curious like if that like I like there obviously there is a reason why they're doing this. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is because I don't think I mean they could be stupid, but I don't think they're that stupid. Uh I don't, I don't know, man. They seem pretty stupid though. Yeah, that's true. Um, shall we move to the middling news, as we've uh, phrased it here? Um, that Tactics Ogre Reborn thing that has been leaked and announced and leaked and talked about, and everyone knows it's happening, has a date. It's coming to the Switch, Steam, PS4, slash 5 on November 11th, uh, the day Starfield would have come out, but they need more time to make it the best game ever. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Tactics Reborn. Tactics Ogre Reborn, sorry. Full I, apparently this was on the 3ds at some point uh i know tactics ogre is like super nintendo yeah i'm sorry i'm talking out my ass a lot over here let me look it up you are because i 
I thought this was one of those games where it's like, hey, it came out originally and then it was never came out again. And that's why people kept talking about it a lot. But it has been out. It came out for the PSP. Uh, it came out for the Super Famicom in 95, the Sega Saturn in 96, PlayStation in 97. It then later came out on the PSP. And now it's coming out on Switch, PS4, PC. I don't know. This Again, I'm going to add some sass to this. I thought this game was like hard to find, hard to play on modern consoles, etc. But it sounds like it's really not that hard. You know, it's a PS1 game. It's probably backwards compat. Yeah, I, I, I don't think... It's not. I think this was born out of like people just want a remastered version of it. Not, like sort of like Final Fantasy. Yeah, but apparently people don't like the look of the remaster. They said the graphics are bad. It like messes up the pixel art. Yeah, it looks like. Do they um? Do they do that smoothing thing? I hate yes. That. Oh, it does do that. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's just like a Gaussian blur on the pixels. <laughs> the, um, yeah. The Symphony of the Night version I played on Xbox did that. You could thankfully turn it off. But oh, it's oh. Yeah, someone tweet replied to this with <laughs> a version of, <laughs> of Funky Kong. Uh, it done in that style so he's completely smoothed out which is very good um oh this also came out on the wii and the wii u oh so plenty of people can play it then yeah there's a hundred million wii's out there and they're very easy to mod <laughs> to crack that's true i have one in in my oh, i have my wii u in my living room ready to go I, I was thinking about i was thinking about playing this game i will i'll probably play it on the wii then you know or on my phone as a PSP emulator. Or on my PlayStation Classic. Like, <laughs> that's why I just feel a little confused. Like, granted, this is not like it's been, it's not Skyrim. But at the same time, I thought this was like Mother 3. Where it was like, this has been rumored and wanted for so long. That it was like Final Fantasy 7 remake. It was like Mother 3. It was like, we're never going to get this. There's no real good way to play it. And then it finally like gets announced. And I'm like, wait, it was on all these other consoles all along, you idiots. <laughs> it's like i don't know <laughs> yeah it's wild someone uh jason watch this spot and tell us all about tactics over reborn um do you live in columbia the country or the city there's a there's a really <laughs> nasty there's columbia maryland which is just like you know the boondocks like the the comic and the tv show you know how they live in like a neighborhood with a lot of like annoying rich white people that pretend to be liberal but are racist apparently that's based off columbia maryland which is <laughs> close to where i used to live nice. so when you say columbia i'm like fucking rich white pricks um <laughs> sorry in the chat we've got one david saying i want tactics ogre reborn badly or bad sorry i don't mean to add the adverb there for you uh why uh you can't, yeah can't, why? why why can't you just yeah why can't on the wii u Played on your phone via PSP emulator. PPSSPP. Yeah, PPSS. PP. It comes out the same week as God of War. If God of War comes out. If. Oh, doesn't something else come out? Uh, There's something else coming out around God of War that I'm 100% going to play instead of God of War. And if you give me a second, when does God of War come out? November or something? He loves to hate. The Last of Us Part 1 remaster. before. Day before God of War Ragnarok. Skull and Bones, baby. Oh, yeah. The Friday, right. after, not Friday game. The, fr the Friday after, nine <laughs> days after God of War, Pokemon Violet and Scarlet. I don't need no fucking God of War. I got two games right there. I'm, I'm Jake play. said Jake said Shrek Tactics Reborn, which I would play. I would play if that. it existed. Yes. Onions. Uh, I'm excited for God of War and not Skull and Bones. Uh... Sorry, I was uh, thinking about it the other day, and I was like, I really want that game to be so bad that you <laughs> don't put it on the game of the year list and make me play it. I mean, it would have to be really bad. No, you're genuine. If it was like a solid seven, you would not put it on the list. I know you. Right. But then again, the list, the list is so small right now that <laughs> it'd have to be a five to not make it on the list because the list is so short right now. There's just not a lot of good candidates this year. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, the first one was pretty good, and, and I would have put that on the list, but it wasn't like the best game I yeah. ever played. So as long as it's better than the first game, I think 
I think it'll be on the list. Um, I didn't realize Columbia is actually spelled wrong. Uh, Nibel uh, corrects it. Uh, it was spelled with a U, like I believe the city in Maryland, right? Yeah. So that yeah. joke landed perfectly. Anyways, the country of Columbia in Ireland uh, can now test uh, Xbox Game Pass offering that allows them to add up to four people to share Game Pass Ultimate benefits with starting today, which is a very cool thing. Uh, I'm all about that. I yeah. I don't get this. Like, you're just throwing money away. This is insane, isn't it? It's like the Nintendo Switch family thing. It's 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 crazy, right? Like, it's good for consumers, but I don't understand why the company would ever agree to this. It's, Are they... I, could it be, like, a tax thing? <laughs> like, Ireland's pretty... But also, well, no, I think, I'm just trying to think why they would do it. No, these are just, this is just, I think this is testing and the plan is to eventually roll it out to other people. So okay. this is not going to only be in those countries. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it is right now. David says this, but this is what I was going to say. So I'm not stealing um, families using that and also like roommates and stuff like that. But also think about it. You're for the price of, I mean, one person, you're getting four new people into your ecosystem. So that's four more opportunities for them to spend money in your sure. store not necessarily like game pass yes i get it. it's free free game stuff yeah but it's still getting them into that ecosystem and that's also hey man we could split game pass uh why don't you buy an xbox series s i'll get the x why don't we buy why don't we get yeah. uh why don't we get greg an xbox series s for his birthday because he can just have the game pass ultimate benefits you know so like Dude, friends with like benefits to is gonna mean a whole different thing in about yeah yeah a year. but at the same time like like Let's assume all of us have Game Pass. That's sixty dollars a month they're getting from us if we're doing the right thing and getting Game Pass Ultimate. We could very easily flip over to this plan. The the in the wording it said that one month of normal Game Pass converts to eighteen days of the family Game Pass. So that makes me think that it is. What is the math on that? That means it's 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 only a third more. So instead of $15 per month per person, we would basically pay $20 per month for the family plan, which is insane. So they would go from $60 per month for the four of us down to $20 per month there's, for the four of us. There's also no way they haven't done an insane amount of market research to to make sure that this is going to be probably a profitable thing for them. Like, uh I I wasn't even thinking about what Will said, but like the hear, opportunity to buy more stuff just kind of. I hear what you're saying, but but remember, Movie Pass. There have been plenty of decently sized companies run by smart people who make dumb fucking subscription. Yeah, but I decisions. think Game Pass has been testing that for long enough that I feel like they can feel bold enough to test this in two countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely just a test. This it, it's just it's it's along with that like Nintendo Switch Online Family Pass where I'm like, hey, this is a great deal, but I feel like I'm stealing from you <laughs> because <laughs> because you really should be charging us individually because we live a far way apart, you know. We live so, a far way apart. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I don't think any of this rest of uh. I mean, there was this Tencent seeks a bigger stake in Assassin's Creed, time. Ubisoft. I think it's bedtime. I'm going to... Uh, what do you think? Let's get out of here. Let's turn the music on get out of here. Get out of here. You know what? I, I'm not in charge anymore. Is he? Everybody, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Halucha was in the chat. Jake was in the chat. Uh, David, you were in the chat. We caught you 4K, buddy. Uh, folks, if you like our content, you can go to subpixelfilms.com. That brings you straight to our link tree where you can click on all the different links to all of our different things. Uh, Ian's OnlyFans is awful. Do not go to it. You will only see what you think is a glue stick with, with a brown spot. Uh, folks. Man, I should start an OnlyFans. <laughs> you should. Um, my neighbors are, uh, you probably can't hear it on here, but they're being so yeah. obnoxious. I know you can't. We can hear you complaining about it. I know. I'm yeah. sorry. It's like, it's so loud. I don't know how you can hear it. Um, folks, we will be back this weekend. I think we're doing it. I think it's the season finale, correct? Of what? Oh, Sunday service? Yes. 
It is season, season one finale. finale. 1 p.m. Sunday. Father Ian, Father Will, one last uh, climax of ecstasy together uh, in one front of the blessed Lord time. and on the Lord. Uh, we have, I've already uh, heard of a confession possibly coming, uh, and it involves a jar of many things. Folks, uh, no. thank you so much for watching. Kyle, thank you for being here. I'm glad you were here. I'm glad you got your What is the name of my cat? Coming. Oh yeah, what's the name of your cat? Yeah. It's Mochi. Mochi, like Japanese great mochi. Name. Yeah, I'm into it. Ian is not pleased. Is it is it mochi or mochi? Mochi. It's mochi. It's mochi. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.